So now that Reaper 4 is out, I'm going to start going through the changes that have been made, uh, the major changes that will affect your workflow, and um, major changes that will um, be noticeable or you might miss unless you actually read the manual. Uh, the first one I'm going to go through is setting up your customized dockers and screen sets. Um, for this video, I'll show you how to make a tracking screen set, an editing screen set, and a mixing screen set. Um, so the first thing that we're going to want to do here is open up our mixer, view mixer, and then uh, on your docker, just like in Reaper 3, you have these little tabs here on the bottom. So this has a mixer here, so that's obviously the mixer. And um, before we go ahead and further with this, this is for preparation for this screen set, we're going to right click in here and we're going to uncheck show multiple rows of tracks when size permits because we want to always show um, the entire track for the inspector track because that's what we're going to be making now. So in order to dock this to the left hand side, it's pretty simple. You just hold control and you left click and drag this little tab here. So I see this blue bar come here to the left and let go. And now we've got our uh, our master channels there, which we don't want. So we're going to right click on this and go up to master track and click on show in Docker. And that's going to make um, the master track have its own Docker. We're going to do the same exact thing with that. We're going to hold control, click here, and drag all the way to the right. So now uh, we've got our master channel on the right hand side. So now when you make your channel, as long as you have this uh, sized here correctly, you know, put it right up to the edge so it's flush. If you add more channels, you'll see as you select these, the channel here corresponds to whatever you're selecting. So um, if you were to make your you know, TCP really tiny because you've got a whole bunch of channels, then when you select these, you can do an inspector and have a bigger channel on the left. Now by default, when you click to record this, it's going to show your, ent your entire channel um, automatically. So this would be under options, preferences, and you can go to the record tab. And inside of there, there's a, there's a checkbox that says always show full track controls on arm track. Now if you like that, you can keep that. Um, if you don't like that, then obviously uncheck it. But that's where that would be. Um, so if I press and apply that, as soon as I were to record, enable this track, it would pop it out full. And as soon as I unre unrecord, enable it, it pops it back. Um, so that's a little bit of a side note for that purposes. I'm going to keep that off for now. So now that we have our screen set uh, for this, this will be my tracking screen set. I have my master over here. You can see all my plugins. I've got this uh, tracking over here. I can see each channel in full with its plugins individually if I'm going to do that. Uh, what we want to do is go to view and then go down to screen set layouts. You can select um, whatever numbers you want. If you want to keep these available, you can. I mean, these are the preset you know, F7, F8, F9. They don't, they're they don't not set to anything. So I'm actually going to save this F7 to tracking. And you can check off what you want. We want everything to be saved. Click on save and it will go ahead and save everything. So now that's set. And now um, we're going to move this channel back to the bottom because we're going to do our mixing one now. And I'm going to cinch this up completely as high as I can for the mixer and save my uh, my next set of view, screen sets and layouts. I'm going to save this as mixer. And then we're going to get rid of our mixer completely because this will be for the editing one and then on our editing tab we'll um, have these a little bit bigger. Let's cinch this back so we only have a minimum of our tools here so we have more space. We don't need the master channel um, for the editing one in this section here. We don't need any mixer or any master channel so we're going to save this screen set, go to view, screen sets and layouts. We're going to save that to three and name that editing. So now that we have our um, editing tab, our editing screen set all saved up, uh, you can go through all these and click the load button and it brings us back to the screen set that we originally had. Mixer, 
editing. And um, also, if you press the F keys as well, it will load them up as well. So if you close this out and you press F7, it'll load this up. Press F8, load that up, um, and so on. So that's a quick thing on screen sets to save. You can also, um, you could go to view and they have an, um, a larger mixer view. You know, it depends on what you like. For instance, the, the TCP here for our tracking does not show the input number that or the input that you're going to select. So if you change this to large view on your inspector, you've got that now in the list. That might be a little bit better. Um, options so now if you uh, select these it changes but you can also change your input which is which is really good to have so click on view and go down to screen set go back to tracking and save that and now if even if we um, go back to our mixer it should change our layout again so mixer was a uh, f8 and see, it brings our layouts back to the originals, the smaller ones or the default ones. If you go back to our um, tracking, it puts it back to the larger size layout as well. So it's a quick overview of the screen sets and um, what you can do with them to have some quick buttons. You know, in a um, program like Pro Tools, you've got the uh, control equals sign, I believe it is, that will switch you between your mixer and your... Uh, your editing windows, just a quick switch. Now in Reaper, if you save your screen sets with a customized um, look and everything, you can just press F7, F8, you know, whatever you want to do. And you can also, I mean, you can you can click on the effects button here, and you can actually right click this and dock effects if you wanted to, and you know, have some crazy setup where you know your effects is on the side. Um, and you've got your counter up top here, or whatever you want to do. So you can just drag and drop effects onto uh, onto stuff uh, quick and easy. So I believe you can have up to 16 different boxes docked now in Reaper 4, which is pretty ridiculous. I'm not sure what kind of resolution screen you would need to do that. That's a quick overview of the screen sets and the new docking in Reaper. And... Um, so you guys should explore it and have fun with it, and it'll increase your workflow quite a bit because um, you don't have to worry about sizing things back and forth. You know, if you accidentally click this and drag it over, and you're like, oh, crap, now I have to go and size this up again, you don't have to do that. You just press F7 and it's back. <laughs> so, or F8 to go to your mixing view and whatever you, you're doing. Um, but that's it for now. Uh, Johnny from Red Sneaker Records, thanks for watching tutorials for Reaper.com.